Hello and welcome back to Epoch Affair. In today's video, we will talk about a new prospect for India in making advanced medium combat aircraft engine for Indian Air Force. British firm Rolls-Royce has said that they are keen to work with India to co-develop and manufacture engines for the country's fifth generation fighter aircraft program called MK. Kishore Jayaraman, who is the president of Rolls-Royce, also said that the country will own the intellectual property rights for the engine if there is a partnership. Rolls-Royce believes we can be an able partner to build an engine in India for advanced medium combat aircraft. That is the area of the future which needs to be worked out to create, co-develop and co-manufacture combat aircraft engine for Indian jets in India. It goes in line with the indigenous design and manufacturing initiative that India wants and called Atmanirbhar. Rolls-Royce keenness is on the co-creation concept because at the end of the day, when we create, we are gathering intellectual property locally in India. When a product is designed in India, manufactured in India, you create your supply chain and you create services concept on top of that. It creates a whole new ecosystem in the Indian aerospace sector which will open new doors for the defense production sector. Kishore Jayaraman added that Rolls-Royce believed it can create and manufacture the right engine along with the relevant local agencies and corporations. The company currently powers the Indian Air Force Jaguar Deep Penetration Aircraft, Hawk Trainers and the C-130J Super Hercules. And due to that reason, I guess Rolls-Royce offer is a blank check for India. As for now, what we know that India is in talk with Rolls-Royce, French company Safran which powers the Rafale fighters and American firm GE which powers the light combat aircraft Tejas for a possible collaboration to manufacture a joint fighter engine. According to defense sources in the defense establishment, the primary competition is between Safran and Rolls-Royce. And India will look at the key area of cost along with the terms of transfer of technology to make a decision. Transfer of technology for the aircraft engine was part of the unofficial commitment in the Rafale contract as well. The proposal dealt with technology transfer for the development of indigenous engine for the LCA, but it has not been fulfilled by Safran yet. However, Kishore Jayaraman said that Rolls-Royce had lots of good talks with the Defence Research and Development Organisation and there have been very promising and fruitful conversation. If you like this video, hit on subscribe and please let me know in the comment section that how you respond to Rolls-Royce offer and is it really be a good opportunity in building combat engine in India.